What is up, YouTube? Uh, it's another RTA video, so we are starting at rank 12. We've been pumping out a ton of RTA content on Twitch, so if you haven't watched there yet, please go follow me on Twitch and drop a Prime sub if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, but we're going to just jump straight into the matches here and try to break it down for you guys. And the meta is changing a bit with the Genua, so hopefully I can kind of cover all of the picks uh, as well as uh, I'd hope to. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and let's go right ahead. Alright, so the opponent from right side is banning Zeo and Nakwal. So we're going to be taking the Conqueror Lilius away, because anytime that the opponent bans Zeo, uh, they're probably going to be a C Lilius abuser, so you want to take that away from them. And also if you have like a, you know, it doesn't have to be 3 310, maybe like 300, or even 295 C Lilius would be very good here. Now it goes for the uh, Laia Candy here. And why does it go Laia Candy? Because if he goes Laia plus Mitigation, I could do something like a Genua on him, right? And then it puts him in a really disadvantageous position now candy means that we're he's demanding us to take mitigation here so we're going to take the best one in the game for airwell here airwell has become a staple right now in the meta because he has that stun which can really shut down the genua if they go genua p345 so that's why we're taking it here and we want to go for a relatively neutral dps here now we could do something like a Ufine, we can do an lcb i think both options are pretty all right um so i'm probably just going to offer a Ufine here uh, but it's total preference. Um, they could slam Ovira on you here, but you, you'd still have two picks to flex out of it. So don't be afraid to take an LCB or Yufin here early since he doesn't have, you know, any um, disruptors, right? You don't need cleanse yet. So there's one disruptor, which is Lulukar, and he goes to Genua as well. So, okay. So now we need to find a way... We need to find a pick that can disrupt his whole draft, right? He has focus. He can get stunned. We can strip the buffs. Okay. Who are you thinking? It's Solitaria. Okay. Solitaire is going to be able to shut down the focus on the Lulu car here. And we can also run another unit that can help us win the game here. And um, honestly, as of right now, because there's only one Disrupt, uh, you can run something like an Aria, Bibliss. I think those are all pretty decent. Uh, if you had Karina and Rocket Punch, maybe you could do it. Uh, but I'm probably just going to opt to go for maybe an Aria game. Uh, Bibliss is actually not bad, though. Uh, you know what? Let's go Bibliss. So right now he has no mitigation and we have Arrowell that can uh, disrupt the Genua. We have the Solitaire that can disrupt and we also have the Biblis that can disrupt and put some debuffs on them, right? Now, one thing that can be a bit concerning is if they get Instaproc here with the Yuffie on the Genua on turn one, it can be a little bit scary. But typically, um, if you do play Sea Lilies, you're going to be wanting to push this back anyways, just so that you can get them as far down the CR bar as possible. And if you have Yuffie, it cuts the CR by 50%, so it's pretty good there. So obviously, Rowan is a Force Mad because it counters this and this and this and kind of this if I Elbrus, right? So we're going to be banning P5. But we're in a pretty okay position just simply because of the fact that he doesn't have any mitigation here. And we have enough counters to deal with the really big win con in Genua, right? So let's see what he bans here. I'm expecting a Solitaria ban or a Biblis ban. I don't think he's going to ban Yufin, um, because I can always control lock him into the Lias. Even if he's Sweet Miracle, we can always CC lock him. So he actually goes for the uh, Solitaria ban so that the um, Lulukar can actually get the focus. Now I'm going to be going with Release Imprint. Make sure, make sure, make sure every time that you're going into every match now, you're checking your imprints because we don't need the extra effectiveness on the Biblis here because we're not landing on Solita or Lulukar, right? Like... We're not landing on that for sure. So we might as well go release imprint for the rest of the team so everybody can benefit. And we are running Bastion of Prelucia, so we want to protect our win con being the Yufin. And go ahead. This is going to be a little bit of RNG, um, as it always does go a little bit of RNG whenever you're playing, you know, Candy versus Yufin. Um, it can go either way, but that's just kind of, you know, the decision that you got to be, or, yeah, you just got to be comfortable with that. So uh, Lulukar cuts forward here. We didn't get attacked down on Genua, which is a little bit annoying. If we do proc the Genua here, that would be quite bad for us, honestly. So I'm probably just going to S2 the Genua, just to push it back a bit, just to disrupt the CR a little bit, because in case he S3s and then the Laia S1s, uh, which is pretty possible, because he doesn't need a cleanse again, he can save the cleanse for the following rotation. If he S1s and triggers an Elbrus, I don't want him to be able to just take insta take a turn, right? Um... And that might happen here if he has one. So let's see if we Elbrus. Now we are blinded on Biblis, but we don't really mind about that. No silence though is pretty big for us. Does he go for the S1? It looks like he does go for the S1. And we do trigger the counter Elbrus, as we mentioned. Ex oh, and it actually doesn't proc the Genua though. It didn't proc the Genua. A defense buff saved him, I guess. 
So hopefully we hit at least, you know, one or two out of four with Biblis, even though we're blinded. Uh, so we actually missed all hits. But we do get the Garden of Secret and the passive healing. Now this is a very sp scary position to be in because we're blinded and silenced on the arrow well. And our Yuffie's about to take another turn here. So, you know, when we saw them start of the match, the Janua was in front of us. So hopefully it stays that way. But... You know, there's only one way to find out how this goes. So let's try to strip the defense buff off here. We missed. He Elbruses. We get free CR on the Biblis. And it does look like he takes the turn. Perfect. Right? If we did cut in front of him, that would be really bad. But we saw earlier in the match in the beginning that she was quite a bit faster than us with the 25 CR pushback from the C Lilius. So right now, I think we're in a pretty okay position. Because we can tank an S3 pretty easily on all of our units. Uh, especially with all these barriers up from Biblis. Now, I don't foresee him going into Yuffie because he could he could give me the 100 Fighting Spirit stack, which wouldn't sound that great, if you ask me. And he probably goes Arrowell here. Yep, he does go for the Arrowell. Alright, so now I'm going to go on Candy since she is death broken. If we crit, that would have done a ton of damage, unfortunately. Now, uh, Lya does have another cleanse, so this is going to be a little bit scary. Um, I think pushing back is never bad, but I do kind of want to hit the candy so that I can silence it potentially. Since I do still have another air wall hit that I can go for. And I do want to proc the immortality sooner than later. We actually didn't strip the immortality. Biblis might strip the immortality though. It might come through. Beautiful. And the Biblis comes in clutch and it strips off the immortality. Even if it cleanses, it's not going to make the CR cut just because we have the Yuffie in play. Which means Arrowell is going to be able to finish off that Janua and it's going to put us in a much more stable position. Now we are still going to have to tank a hit from the candy potentially. But that's a risk or, you know, that's just something that we have to live and die with. Uh, with our barrier procked up here, unless he Elbruses, we should be able to tank it for the most part. And we do finish off the Janua, perfecto, and we can silence here, or we can save it for the Yuffie Soul Burn. Because he has the Lia Wind Con two, like one turn away, we do need to save the soul, so we just gotta try to hit. Alright, we do actually land the silence, that's huge. Procs our build us again here. And stick some useful debuffs on here, please. Beautiful, that D-break is huge, it is huge. Now, there's a few different, pl diff different places you can make. Oh, he actually FFs. Alright, he realizes that he can't break through the Yuffie, and that's GG. Let's move on to the next one, very clean. Alrighty, our next opponent is going to be banding a AOL candy. It doesn't give us a whole lot of information to work with, but it, it kind of seems like he's not going to be cleaving us, right? So he goes live P1. I think we can take something like a C. Lilius here. Uh, Candy's obviously banned, so if that means if I go Yuffie in here, he slams Janua. That puts us in a really bad spot. If I go Arrowell, it's kind of a neutral pick, kind of counters a Janua, so that might be something that I'm going to go for instead. Uh, it keeps our draft relatively open, and it gives us a counter into the best unit in the game. Uh, he goes... Lua Laya, very strong combo. Mm, we don't really care too much about this unit, I think, just because we do have Bastion for Lucia. And right now, he is still weak to something like Gala, so I think that's what we're going to take. Because he's not going to rip an S2 into Gala because he can miss, right? So we go Gala on the back here, and then. Go Gala back, and honestly, right now, kind of looks like something we can, like a shoe potentially. Because you want to take a unit that doesn't care about being reset, right? So units like Stene, units like Shu are all quite good. Um, you could go Fire Lilius too, but you might be lacking damage then if you do that. Uh, if you don't pre-ban DDR, I think T DDR is a pretty decent option here for you as well if you're ever going to be playing in a spot like this. Uh, I'm going to be going with Shu here just so it counters. It does counter the Laya. It can give a speed buff for tempo, and uh, we might be able to get some good value out of it here. Now, uh, let's see what he picks here. So he takes Bihu, which is unbuffable, which counters this, 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 and this, I guess, if he outspeeds me. So this is a potential force ban. But we'll see. Because I can always run a cleanser. Okay, so it actually goes Solitaria here. I'm sorry, Lulucar. So if it goes Lulucar here with Bihu, then we're probably just going to take Solitaria here and then ban Bihu, right? So he's really lacking damage. He's playing Beguile damage plus Laya damage, which is not... Not the most damage, I would say. Not the most amount of damage that you can have in a draft, but he actually bans with the mitigation because he wants to reset the Gala so that he can play the Carmen Lyo win con. Um, but we do outspeed him on the Lua here, but I don't think it matters too much because the Lyo is going to take a turn anyways. And then cleanse. So, unless I one-shot him, which is 
pretty much impossible since he has Carmen. So we're just going to S2 here. We actually don't land the pushback, which is really bad for us. Mm, that's not good. Uh, he can sleep us and then reset. So he sleeps the Solitaria, lose one rotation. I resist it since I do have a bit of ER, but evidently it's probably just 15%. Like, I have like about 130 ER, but it's probably 15% for the most part. Uh, so he actually resets the Gala, and now I can start playing the game. So he's focusing the Gala right out the bat here since he does have the Beguile. Or Beguile, Beguile, whatever you want to say. I'm going to start working the Carmen here. Uh, all these Beguile procs, my Gala can heal off S1, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, but it is definitely a little bit of a concern. We did reveal the, the Lua, so we want to focus her ASAP. Just because she provides speed buff to the team, and she's very problematic. And we actually headshot her for the Wind Rider and the heal up, which is beautiful here. Prox is still a Constellation, but he can't disrupt us with the... Uh, the Lulu car here, so it's actually a pretty decent spot that we're in right now. So he can still cleanse with S2 and then Carmen S3, but we have Solitaire coming up real soon. So in the grand scheme of things, it won't matter. We're going to miss one turn off of Shu, but we're going to be able to S3 to get that speed buff up to really start cycling. And I think this guy is probably in a little bit of, bit of pain because I have two units that can really deal with this Lion and shut him down. So he pushes the Carmen. Nothing special here. He's going to press. All good. And uh, immunity is two turns, and then the invincibility is one turn. So Solitaire is just going to S3 onto the Laia here. Because we do want... So we're definitely going to S3 just so we get speed buff, like I mentioned. And I'm going to S3 Solitaire onto the Laia because she is the primary win con now that he's playing for. Right? We can see that he is uh, one turn off from S3-ing. So we're just going to S3 here. Try to strip that invincibility off since he has no ER. And we did strip the invincibility. Beautiful. And we have Wind Rider and Vigor and Attack buff. Let's see if this kills. Probably not through Carmen, but this should still do quite a bit of damage, I would say. And we actually one-shot him through the Carmen. That's an insta-GG. He should be FFing any moment now. GG. Absolute masterclass. Alright, let's move to a third match of today. Alright, so we've got a big match here. We're playing against Elva Mage here. One of the best aggro players on the ladder. Let's see what he does. If we go see Lilius here, we're going to have to expect that he is going to want to play some form of Zeo or Lua or something into us here, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the Lilius. And I'm also going to take the Genua away from him. Because he's playing an ER Genua, which is really, really hard to deal with. So even if I play something like an Arrowell, right? This is all, this is one of those games where you got to know your opponent and know how he plays and how he builds his units. So if we went Arrowell here, like we saw in some of the previous matches, if he does some type of ER Genua anchor, it's going to be really hard to kill him because we don't have, you know, enough effectiveness on things like Arrowell and maybe even like Solitary or whatever to kind of beat him, right? So automatically he goes for Karina Arrowell here just so that he can land some type of um, stun or locks onto my Genua. Pretty good pick overall, I would say. Um, as of right now, I think a really good unit, I'd say, is I need to have some form of mitigation here. So I think we're going to go for, I want to say Troza, since that's one of the picks I've been really liking so far. I'm going to go with the Troza here. And I think I'm going to go for uh, ML Shu as well. I think that'll be a decent pick. ML Shu doesn't feel great into, uh, into Airwell, to be honest, but... Considering Candy and Yuffie are both pre-banned, I think this is going to be a decent enough option for us to play with. And it gives us a win con against Laia and Karina here. And now let's see what he takes on P5 here. I'm very curious to see what he goes for. He's probably going to take some form of tempo. I don't I don't really imagine that he would give me completely the first turn, right? Maybe some form of Lua, some form of Ran, even Peira. But right now his draft is looking very, very passive. Right, he's gonna he's gonna speed it up here on P4 or P5, because he doesn't want to give me the first turn. I know that for sure. And we gotta be ready for it. We must be ready for it. He has two counters to Genua already, so um, we either ban one of them or we ban bot two. And we usually always try to draft versus bot two. So let's see what he goes here. He has 15 seconds. He is really taking his time and thinking about this one. He, there's the Lua that we predicted, right? He he wants to take some of the tempo back away from the draft. So he takes the Lua. And let's see what he goes for next. He goes LQC. He goes LQC. He goes LQC. Huh. Interesting. 
He goes LQC. Um, I think I'm going to go Fire Lilius. Fire Lilies can cover the Lua, and I can I can ban last here. These two don't really care about getting a reset. Yeah, this unit's gonna he he might be banning mid right. I think I gotta respect the P five. So I gotta respect the P five here, and I'm all right. It's gonna be a hard one to win. Uh, LMH is a quite a fast player. He's got a 313 Lua, so unless I speed RNG him with my C Lilius, he is more than likely taking the first turn. But even if I do take the first turn, he does have that Lia coverage into us, which is very problematic, unless maybe he re resists the pushback and not the provoke. Who knows? So he does take the first turn. And he's 2% ahead of me here. Now let's see how he plays this here. No matter what, I'm going to get reset, right? No matter what, unless I 15%. So the question now becomes, does he S2 or not? He goes for the S2 on the C Lilius. I get slept. Alright, I'm going to tank a lot of Beguile damage here. Yeah, we're going to be in a little bit of a world of pain here. He's going to S2 and probably proc my Genua almost right away. He doesn't get the D-break though, that's big, that's big. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna hit the Karina here. This does give CR up to Arrowell, but I mean, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, he's gonna go for the stun on the C Lilia, so he can't. I can't drag. And he puts that barrier up, and he's bulletproofing himself. Uh, I'm gonna S1 here onto the Arrowell. I mean, we're just in a world of pain right now. I mean, there is a chance that his S3 actually does too much damage to my Genua, maybe. But I would say borderline unlikely, I would say. But let's see. He's actually hard focusing the um, the C Lilius first here, which is a bit of a surprise. But okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to S1 into this first. Now, he's probably going to have to focus Trozet after here. And my Trozet is Holy Sack, so maybe I can make something happen here, but I'm not sure. That barrier is really, really annoying. So he's slowly working down my Trozet here. I'm going to put that speed buff up here. He already proc S3 with Karina. He can still proc S2. Now I'm going to get slept here. I'm dead meat. I think it's GG. Uh, I, I kind of got out drafted, and I think we got to wrap it up. Elven Mage is a bit too good. On to the next one. All right, looking to the next match, we have Candy Bellion. Tells us he's going to be playing Cleave. All right. So if we know he's going to be playing Cleave, we're going to take Genua first here. Because if I take something like a Zeo, he can ran Genua. If I go Laia, he can Zeo ran. If you go Yufin, he can still slam Zio around with Elena early or with Elena late. Um, I found personally right now, like Janua is a pretty decent answer because it forces them to take something like a Poly. So there's a Zio around that we're expecting. Uh, I'm going to go with Karina and I'm also going to go with T Crozet. Now, my T Crozet is on Holy Sack and it's going to be some of the best mitigation in the game for the backline unit who's going to be my Karina most likely. And he actually runs the Ludwig plus the Poly here. So I'm actually thinking maybe I could do something like a ML Ken maybe. I think ML Ken might be okay because I can tank all the hits. And it's DPS poly, right? So everybody is playing DPS poly into the Karina right now. Um and I think another decent unit. Hmm, who would that be? I could run another I can run another um I can run FCC, honestly. Like, I need another Knight that does a little bit of chip damage. And I think FCC is actually decent. I think Yufin is actually decent, too, because I can always proc an Elbrus. Um, but I already have enough damage, in my opinion. I already feel like I already have enough damage, so I think I'm going to go with double mitt. 
Because FCC, in this case, against Cleavers, is not just mitigation. Like, that S3 does a ton of damage, especially with no skill nulls, right? So, I have that mitigation, but if he bans it, that means he can just run me down, like, with all my units being completely naked. But if I have that extra layer of mitigation, that might just be the difference on whether my uh, Emil Ken lives or not. And he's going to pick Elena here to disable my Emil Ken, which tells us he's not banning this. Um, and if he's not banning that, uh, that means if I give him this, he's going to get a lot of souls. Like, he's going to S3 into Soulburn S1, S2, S3. Yeah, he's going to get 60 souls here. Uh, no matter what, I actually think it might be banned this. Yeah, I'm going to ban the Ludwig. The Ludwig, realistically, is the unit that gives us the most trouble, right? And... Because Ludwig can really, like, yes, you get death broken here, but we have Chosen on Holy Sack. We have FCC, like, 35k HP giving us prod set. Like, I think our odds of winning this are pretty decent, because we're not really going to proc anything too much. So, Zio is going to S3 into Arjanua. And this round S2, S3, he's going to Soul Bird, is probably going to break Arjanua, like, 100 to 0, most likely. I'm expecting it to, at least. Uh, but at least now I only have to tank a Poly and an Elena, right? So maybe it's not that bad. Who knows? So he procs. That means Poly procs. And then my Karina procs after. Uh, so our Immortality got stripped by the Ran, obviously. We got another barrier here. Uh, this is going to be a lot of damage. I don't know if this, we're going to be able to tank this, but we are a Noble Oath on Karina, so maybe there is a chance. So he actually soul burns there because he can soul burn Polly afterwards. All right, we're still alive though. That this um this Troza doesn't want to die. All right, this Troza's coming back, right? We can dispel all debuffs on our Karina and go for a one shot. Refresh our defense buff. And because we are Noble Oath, we might have a chance of just stealing this game away here from him. Now um he does have S two again on Polly, but we need to cleanse a D break here. We have no choice. We have absolutely no choice. We have to do it. And uh, this can only reduce the buff duration by one, and it does miss. And because I am going to be Noble Oath, I'm going to want to let him hit everything into me here, since he has no more, no more, um, no more breaks. And I'm going to go for Zio here, because we know it's not RNL Ran. If it's RNL Ran, you're probably going to want to target it, just because he might be able to RNL out of the uh, the skill cooldowns. But if we know that he's on a uh, symbol we don't need to be too worried all right so we're just holding here our chose is gonna die and then we're gonna let karina tank all the hits and we have two turns of a defense buff so we just need him to hit us a few times and we should be good to go and just one shot his whole team so he's 10k elena he's 10k zeo but i'm pretty sure the zeo splash is or he's gonna die to the splash from noble Oath. and we saw that the zeo actually isn't a full damage one it's probably like a hybrid so I'm going to start softening everybody up here. I'm going to go for the Elena since we saw that she is 10k HP. And now we have one more turn on this here. We're going to need to tank everything here. And I'm pretty sure the next play is to just uh, S3 into the Ran. Uh, he's going to S1 again. Oh no, Ran actually lapped us. Ran actually lapped us. That's really bad. He has enough souls now. Ooh, we're in a little bit of pain here. Oh no, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill anymore if we get that broken, right? I mean, D-Brick is 85% chance, but he's probably landing. Oh, he didn't land a D-Brick! He did not land a D-Brick! That is huge. That is huge. He did not land a D-Brick. This might be a one-shot. This genuinely might be a one-shot. It, it might one-shot everything. We gotta go for it. Alright, let's try to kill this Ran. Come on, baby. Noble O power, dude. Oh, no! We didn't have enough damage! Oh, okay, well, that's GG's, man. We didn't have enough damage to kill him. Alright, what a shame. What a shame. Alright, that's too bad. GG's. Uh, next game. Alright, so right side's banning uh, DDR Knockwall. Tells us it's gonna be a standard player here. So he picks the Sea Lilias first. I'm going to go with Laya here in response. And I'm going to take the Candy. Um, it's either Candy or Arrowell here. I'm, actually, I'll go Arrowell. 
think Air Wall is a very, very strong knight right now that you just have to high prio. It's kind of crazy that a three star knight with specialty change is one of the best knights in the game right now that surpasses all the ML4s and ML5s, but um, I'm not complaining. This is a good ass unit. All right, so we take the Lia, we take the Arrowwell here. Uh, he's uh, he's got the Celilius ready to go. What is he gonna pick on P two three here? I'm thinking something like a. I'm expecting him to take some form of aggro. So maybe Gala, maybe Genua, maybe even a Candy Anchor. He actually goes for Carmen for mitigation first. Okay, not what I was expecting from him. Because Celilius and Carmen has pretty bad synergy together. Since one is super passive and then the other one is very high tempo. And you can't really get value out of the S1. Um, so I'm going to go with Biblis here since he has no cleanse. And Candy is gets hard countered by the Biblis. And I need another damage dealer that can really deal with his draft, right? And I think something like a LCB is pretty good. I think Euphine is probably decent as well. But I'm going to go LCB here just so we have guaranteed damage. And he picks Gala P4, which tells us he's not going to respect... He's probably banning mitigation. More, most more like, most unlikely. Or, uh, very likely he's going to be banning mitigation, I would assume. So, what does he pick now? So, if he has candy, something like Winter is not available, right? Even though these are two, three non-attackers. Probably can't take... Um, probably can't take that anymore. Now, what's going to be our last pick? We have enough damage right now. We need some type of utility that can disrupt his entire draft. So, um, he takes Rimuru to deny it from us. Uh, that's pretty greedy. I think something like a Bihu would be pretty good here. All right? Bihu can put a bu buffable on his whole team, and he has to respect it. And then Rimuru honestly doesn't pose that much of an issue. He can't one-shot any of our units, so we're just going to ban the Gala here. And I think he needs to respect the Bihu, right? If he doesn't respect the Bihu and un unbuffable his whole team, like that would be... That would be very bad for him. That would be super, super bad. I don't expect him to actually let this Bihu through, but you know, maybe maybe they will. Who knows? I'm expecting a Bihu ban. This 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 is a this has got to be a ban. There's no way he doesn't respect it. There we go. All right. So uh, our win con obviously is going to be the LCB. So I am gonna solve and print for Lai because she's our other win con. But we have all the other HP releases to and the Bastion protecting the LCB here. And let's see it. Uh, we're fighting against Gracefield. I think we fought him a bit earlier today. He's gonna S3. It's a pretty fast Rimuru, actually. I mean, if it's a, a Rimuru that fast, around 270, 260 speed, it's either Uberius or it's on Gaito Decision. Alright, this is all about intel too, right? You gotta, like, know your opponent and what they're gonna pick. So he pushes the Laia. Um... I'm actually probably going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cleanse. I can get that broken by the Rimuru, yes. But the other thing is, my if I lose that rotation on Biblis S3 and he hits me while I'm death broken with no debuffs coming from the Biblis, we might be in trouble, right? At least Biblis can like refresh barriers. We can air well strip stuff. Like we have a decent value. He's 11.7k Rimuru and uh, Gracefield runs a really really high damage Rimuru. So I'm thinking he's gonna go for the. Oh, he goes for the kill on the Biblis. He actually misses crit. Okay, so he switched his build. He used to be a crit build. So obviously we're going to try to stun the Carmen because we do not want to let him get the uh, invincibility up. That would be really bad. And he's going to analyze here and take my barrier and effectiveness buff, which doesn't really do too much here, right? Uh, I'm going to S3 here. Hopefully land some debuffs on the candy. Um, we should, in theory. Um, but hopefully we don't die off a counter. He's blinded and attacked down. Yeah, we're living for sure. Oh, here we go. LCB counters. Biblis counters as well. Maybe we'll see a D-break. Maybe we see a D-break on the candy. It might be GG if we do see it. Oh, there's a D-break. That is huge. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go on candy. We're going to greet it. Because if he counters into Salvo here, that's actually good for us, right? If he counters Salvo, he's dead for sure. There's a universe where going for the Sea Lilies is not bad either, but there's a counter, and then we're going to do huge damage here with the LCB. Tons and tons of damage, and he's... Oof. Yeah, he's less than half HP. He's 60, 17k HP behind the Carmen, so uh, obviously very hard to kill, especially with Vigor buff available. Uh, he has one turn off of S3, so I'm going to just S1 onto him. Because even if he counters into Biblis, it's actually not that bad, right? It's actually decent for us. 
And he actually FFs because he realizes it's over, right? GG's. See Lily's Carmen? Not good. So uh, let's move to the next one. All right, so right side is going to be banning Laia C. Lilius. Not a whole lot of info to go base off of, but um, I think mitigation is about as safe as you can pick. Go Airwell first. It's about as safe as you can make it. I mean, you don't really want to commit to like a Zeo. You don't want, you don't really want to commit to a Candy or a Yuffie in this early. Taking mid is probably decent. So he actually goes for the Candy first. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm probably just going to go Bibliz. Uh, I could Bibliz or I can go Lulucar. You know what? Actually, I'm probably going to go... Okay, no. Bibliz gives me better coverage versus Genua. So I go this. Plus this. Some might argue that Bibliz on P2 is very early. And I don't disagree. I don't disagree. However, given the economy right now, if I went... If I if this was Lulu Car LCB instead, imagine if you just went Genua plus one, right? If you Genua plus one, I'm in I'm in a lot of trouble, right? I, I have no way of putting any debuffs on him except for just Airwell. So he goes Aiden here, and this automatically becomes a Pillis game. Anytime you see Candy Pillis or sorry Candy Aiden, auto slam Shadow Knight Pillis almost immediately. Like don't even think about anything else. Just go Big P. That's that's all you really need to know. We're gonna take Big P plus one. Question is, who's the plus one going to be? Aria? Alright, let's go Big P Aria ban last. So, Aria is going to be really good here because the chest down Genua and the chip damage in Fairy Tail can beat these units, right? Like, we don't really, really need to be too worried about it. Now we're in a position where we can ban last because A, not only does he not have mitigation, but I have two units I can really just take over, right? I have enough CC for the Genua. It's all good. We ban last here since uh, he picks Rimuru here. And uh, because our win condition is going to be the Aria, I'm just going to backline it and hope for the best. Now, when, as you're watching this video, you might be thinking, well, Vic, what if he just S3s you with Genua and one-shots your Aria? Well, if he can kill me through Escort um, and release it in print and through Elemental Disadvantage, like, it is what it is, right? I'll, I will happily lose if that's the case. If I lose like that, what can I do, right? Nothing. So don't worry about those kind of losses. Just play it out. Play the right highest percentage win comps, and you should win in theory. He actually gets a dual attack. All right. So uh, LCB's dead. That, that, that we already know. Now, the attack buff on Candy is kind of scary, to be honest. Um, no he mouth. puts up the invents here. This for sure kills me. Yep. So now I'm going to go on the Genua to go for the stun. The and then my Pillis is going to S1 Candy. Uh, I have to S1 Candy, try to provoke him. Okay, I didn't strip the... Unfortunately, I didn't strip the attack buff, so this is going to be a lot of damage. But we still have the barrier, so hopefully it'll be enough here. So b Dom's going to hit, Candy's going to hit, and then we're going to proc. And then we should just be able to kill the Genua straight out because he's no mitigation. So we actually stripped the attack buff off Candy with our Arya S1, which is perfect. Now, we're going to S1. This is going to for sure proc the Genua, but we're not too worried about it because we do still have the Fairy Tail. Gets a dual attack, interesting. So there it is, we proc the Genua. And then we're gonna play with the fairy tale, and then he's gonna die right away. So Arya honestly is one of those units that can really, really take over the game. And we should be able to kill here, and then the fairy tale chip procs him, kills him, headshot. And now he's gonna have to S1 into my Arya now, and he's in for a world of pain. Like we're still holding this uh, S3 from our Pillis, right? So he's he's not having a good time. Uh, hit beat on here because I don't want to let any of these units counter for fun. Uh, he, I could trigger Elbers, but he's blinded, so he might miss. Miss. Perfect. Miss. I, I do have stealth, so he should be able to break. Perfect. Alright, now we have souls for the Pillis, and it's pretty much GG. Arya's gonna pop. Oh, he actually just straight up dies there. Alright. Well, in that case, we're just gonna soul burn S3 onto the candy here so that we can stick our barrier and provoke. And the Soulburn obviously resets the cooldown right away, so we can just insta proc immediately after. And then S1, B Dom's dead, and it's game over, right? Checkmate on P5. GG's! 
All right, so that's going to do it for today's uh, RTA episode. Hopefully, you guys did a learn, learn a thing or two, um, especially fighting Genua. Make sure you take crowd control. Things like Arya, Karina are all very good options. Um, make sure you always take mitigation whenever there's a candy that you see in play and pay attention to those pre-bans. Count those turns. There, there's, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of info, and I think uh, we can learn from some of the losses that we had. But overall, I think uh, this, is, uh, this is where I'll end it. So catch me on Twitch. See you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, it'll be coming out this week. So see you later. Bye.